Hello everyone, welcome back to Bootstrap Workbench. Today I wanted to talk about a uh, quick aspect of uh, using older test equipment or really any kind of equipment in your uh, radio repair bench, uh, electrical repair bench, ham radio shack, what have you. And that is uh, equipment that may have internal issues or uh, may just be from an older time where uh, safety concepts were a little bit different. So what I have here is uh, my multimeter is set for uh, AC volts and I have a, an ICO model 147A signal tracer. Now the uh, shocking part here is that uh, if I put, I've got one probe to the safety earth, if I take the other probe and put it to the chassis then I am reading 127 volts. What's even more exciting than that is if I touch the uh, probe uh, you're going to hear a little noise from the signal tracer, but I also have 127 volts there as well. That's why it's important to make sure that uh, you go through older devices when they first come into your shack uh, and that you uh, check them out, make sure that they don't have issues like this. Uh, and there are some avenues you can take to uh, make these devices a little bit safer. Uh, I'll see if I can post some information uh, about the 147A uh, in the description down below. I uh, just wanted to be sure to uh, let everybody know that uh, it's easy to get into one of these issues where you could get uh, pretty seriously shocked in your shack. Uh, and in some cases it's a bit more than a, a simple uh, AC mains voltage buzz for those of us in the United States. Uh, of course in Europe uh, and most of the rest of the world their voltages uh, are significantly higher and more dangerous. So that's going to cover it for today. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Uh, any suggestions, uh, you can put them there as well. I hope that you found this video informative, and I also hope that you have a great day. Thanks for watching.